Hello everyone, Pally Time here, and welcome back to Pal World. Thank you guys so much for the love on the first episode. You guys really surprised me, just like this game did. We ended up playing for like four hours, and I edited down all of the fun into our very first episode for coverage of this game. Today I have even bigger plans, and it mainly revolves around this base. You see, we've been going out and catching a bunch of pals, and we can give these pals specific tasks to do here back at the base. For instance, our Courage the Cowardly Cats mostly stick to mining this stone over here. While if we were to summon in Odir, they would start banging their head against these logs to generate more wood for us. Generally speaking, all of this is working fine. And we even have some, some little chickens over here making eggs for us. So we have basically an unlimited supply of food. However, I hate the spot our base is positioned. Most of it goes down off of this cliff down here. So sometimes our, our pals go down there and get stuck. They can't get back up here. There's a big wall dividing everything. And I just think I could do so much better now that I know a little bit about base building. Luckily for us, something very cool just happened. We have upgraded our base all the way to level 10. And as a result, we can build a second base out here somewhere on the map. Now, this was just my first one. Eventually, it's going to be completely destroyed and moved somewhere else. But since I can build another base right now, I thought it'd be pretty fun to roam out into the open wilderness today and try to look for the perfect spot. And if I have my way, it's gonna make all of our crafting so much easier. I hope things go well. Last time we were playing, we did move west quite a ways. We actually made it all the way over to that tower there, but of course, that boss beat us into the dirt. We aren't ready for that training montage yet, but we will be back for round two. What's stopping me? Oh, I guess that might stop me. So I'm gonna go kind of southwest from the tower today. If we're gonna find a new base, it's gotta have a bunch of stuff on the checklist ready to go. It's gotta be a big, wide, flat area. A place where, wait, a pal merchant? There's a merchant under attack on the road. I'll save him, I'll save him. I'll save him, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball or you're dead. Stay in the ball. <laughs> you stay in the ball too. How many of these fucking balls do I have? Hold on, I'll save you, bud. Why doesn't he just stay in there? Clearly I'm helping. Clearly I'm help. No, 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 no. Don't take the bullet from me. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, I got him. A pal merchant. He's got a burly body too. Chat, we just saved a life. Chat, focus up, focus up. This is one of the pals I wanted to get today. Everyone pay attention. This Vixie is imperative for our strategy. I have one arrow left. I did not pack enough of those before we left. So I'm gonna have to do this with a club. It's not gonna be pretty. Vixie, I need you to like me. I need you to like me, Vixie. This is just growing pains. Okay, I'm gonna show you where I am on the map. Because if you wanna emulate this at home, Vixies are very important. Hey, wait a minute. Also on the map, it kinda looks like a flat area right there. Let's go look at it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I think this would be really good. Okay, first of all, let's catch these new guys. Hey, Spark It. You're coming with me, Spark It. I think this is our first electricity type. Oh, and that's a good catch. 80 right off the bat. I wonder what that fire is over there. A logging foreman. Hey, he's going to be a good worker. We also see a... Is that Thwack? <laughs> ah, Thwack. Is that, am I saying that right? Cause kind of, that's kind of what it looks like. I know I swear like a sailor, but I don't even think it's me this time. Okay, so this is like, okay. This is the kind of thing we might start working with. Big wide area. Seems like there's a decent number of resources nearby. I think we could do better than this though. Hey, this might have some potential here. <gasps> Chat, this is the spot. Chat, this is the spot. We found it. This is where we will be living. It's pretty flat. It's out of the way. Here it is over on the west side. So do you see all these ore things? I'm pretty sure if we 
built a base right here that our pals would be able to mine all of this stuff for us all of the time. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. No, no. Ah, I was just measuring you stupid bird. I am so far away from everything. Oh, well, good news. There is a fast travel on that bridge. And it looks like there's one even more north of my little city here. I'm going to go try to get that. What are you? Are you a wizard? I'm so cold. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. I don't want to get off on the wrong foot. No. Oh my God, chat. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. What is that? Oh, there's multiples of them. Oh. I am so out of my depth here. This is the perfect spot for a base. <laughs> okay, it's getting really hard to see at night, but I got all my stuff back. And I think the next fast travel point is literally like right up here somewhere. I already passed it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, big red and fiery. Don't know how I missed that. Yes, dude. I'm still set on this. I still think it's perfect. It might be an uphill battle with some of these pals that are around. But I think we'll grow into it. You know what I mean? There might be a couple growing pains, but we'll figure it out. How much HP do you think one of these has? It's level 26, but like, oh, a decent amount. A decent amount. Ram it! <gasps> mm. This is a harsh environment. But it will not win. I just fed 40 eggs to my deer. Nothing can defeat me. Wait. No, 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 not you two. No, not you two, no. No, please. This is a... Uh, kind of hard. Kind of, a, kind of a hard spot to tame. Huh. All right. Just let me put this down. Just let me put this down. I'm trying to see the blue line on the other side here. It's really hard to see. I think this is a good spot. I think we'll be able to mine everything in this area from this spot. So I'm just going to throw this down. And then maybe I can finish it before that guy comes back to kill me. I mean, hopefully, maybe he's only a night Pokemon and he'll go away. Maybe. I can dream. Either way, second base is up, and we can now fast travel back and forth between our two bases. So that's like the hardest part done. Maybe the hardest part done. That's probably not the hardest part done. Okay, we're back in the big tower. Next, we're going to need to find someone who can break rocks for a living. And don't get me wrong, these little Courage the Cowardly Cats can do that job relatively okay. Uh, I just feel like I'm going to want a dedicated pal for the cause. So I'm going to try to go into this kind of yellow biome southwest of me and see what we can find over there. Oh, okay. We're back on the hunt. We're back on the hunt. You remember I said this pal was important? Two more here. That's really, really good. All right, let me get my little club out. I have uh, 14 more pal spheres, so not a lot to go around. Come here. I think that's good enough. Please stay in the ball. Where'd your friend go? That's good enough, right? Yeah, we got two and three. I see you. Oh, hey. That's the other one I wanted. This was a perfect trip. Settle down. Settle down. One at a time. Don't go flying off this cliff or anything. For real, I need you. Man, I don't do any damage. It's kind of perfect for catching. The problem is I don't have any health either. So if I mess up at all... We're going to immediately feel it. Although he's just kind of chilling. He's like, bro, I got this. I got this spot on my hams. Can you get it for me? Hey! All right. Hiring help for the new base is going very well. Speaking of our new base, we should be able to tell pretty quickly if this proof of concept is going to work. And it looks like all of the crazy aggressive pals may have left for the time being. So this might be perfect. I do have one of those guys over there looking at me that with a gun, that's uh, 
that might be against the use of pals, but we'll see. So without anything else here, we bring out the boar and see what he starts mining. Hopefully he'll go for some of these ores soon and not just the regular rock. I could bring out a cat. The cat might help. Oh shit, chat. Do they need mining level two? So we're gonna have to find something better. All right, I have a plan for that too. I have a plan for that too. However, before we do that, we are gonna need some way of getting an influx of free resources. And we have a plan for that as well. We're gonna bring out some of the other, oh dears. And we're gonna let them start to gather some wood for us because we're gonna need that while these guys are breaking some stone for us. Um, I'm gonna bring out a few more cats to help with production too. Since we do have a lot we actually need to build. Well, while we're waiting on our next helper, what we can do is build our first ranch. Now, this is going to be absolutely imperative to our strategy. Now, with this ranch fully constructed, this is where we can assign some of our pals. You know, if we put a sheep in here, they'll give us some wool. If we put a chicken in there, they'll give us some eggs. But this is part of our strategy. This part is brilliant. Instead of either of those, we are going to assign our last three worker spots to these Vixies that we picked up earlier. Now, these guys will head right over to that farm and just start digging into the ground after we stop being under attack. Hey, who's walking in here? Get out of here! Oh God, they're level 21. Uh, Talon! Talon, kill them! Bro, it would feel so crummy to lose my base. <laughs> To these guys <laughs> i think they have the potential to take it too you know if talon wasn't here taking care of all of life's problems <laughs> you knocked him off the cliff <laughs> yeah that's one way of doing it yeah that's one way of doing it <gasps> oh chat oh chat this is an even better spot then these guys aren't super high level we could live here right now. Hold on. Do we do that? Do we break the other base and then move here? I don't think so, but this is a good alternative. I'm going to mark it. I'm going to mark it. It's closer to the base. It's just across this really long bridge. That seems like a good spot. So I'm going to check in at the base and just see how many Pokeballs we have sitting around. It should be a decent number. And this is our strategy now, chat. We just let these guys produce these while we're out doing other things. Yeah, I just got six for free. And they're asleep. It could have been even better. Oh, there he is! There he is! It's a top bat! It's a top bat! Okay, this is the only spawn that I know of. We have to nail this. We have to get it right, right now. Hit this guy. Hit this guy. Get in there. Yeah, get in there. Okay, we gotta make sure our damage isn't too nuts. That was totally fine. In fact, their damage is pretty nuts, and I need to make sure I don't die while this is going on. One more ram like that, and we got it. Wait, maybe not. Maybe I recall now. Hey, bud, please don't poison me. One more. Throwing. 31% chance. Did you see how hard he hit me? I only have seven balls. Oh, please. First try. First try. We did it. Now we just go back to our other base, which... Hopefully isn't completely destroyed at this point by something attacking. No, that looks totally fine. God, this place is terrifying. I should have built... Build here! If you're replicating this, build here instead. I am too far north this early in the game, but we're just going to make it work. Now in our pal box, we assign... You think I'm going to call this thing Tombat? Absolutely not. This is Tommy Pickles. Tommy Pickles, level two mining, level two gathering, and transporting. And on top of that, he's a workaholic and a motivational leader. I guess that only helps me if he's in my party. But because of this, we should see him start to chip away at this tier two ore. Once he gets a little sleep, he's just a little tired. and We don't have any beds over here. It's kind of my fault. But we can easily expand on this base by just traveling back to our first one and gathering some supplies. Like uh, these 65 cooked eggs right here. In fact, I'm going to be replacing this base in the future anyway, and I still don't have any fiber. So let me go ahead and just find some on the ground.
Now while we're over here, we could throw down some more beds. It says Tommy Pickles is mining. Does he do it tele telepathically? Oh yeah, Tommy Pickles is mining that one over there. And do you see what I mean? He's just gonna do that on or the rarer resource 24 seven. He's never gonna stop. Okay, so not only are these guys digging up house spheres constantly, they're also giving us a small income of gold constantly, as well as giving us an assortment of arrows that they just find. So we no longer have to craft those. We no longer have to craft pal spears. We no longer have to mine ore because these guys are doing it for us. The cat should also be carrying ore back and forth into storage. So let me make him some storage boxes over here too. And look at this. I will take that 10 ore for free. Thank you, Tommy Pickles. Okay, I'm gonna throw absolutely everything I have into storage right now. And then the plan is to move everything from the first base over here until there is no more first base. Now we are gonna need some food production over there too. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to rebuild this ranch and then uh, let these chickens still make some eggs. Like maybe we don't need the, the entire the entire ranch making eggs. But I'll go ahead and break that down. You guys did a great job farming. If I break this down, do I get the wooden side? Maybe I'll acquire that first. Another small base tip that I think you guys will take advantage of and, and use well, uh, build storage boxes immediately next to your passive gathering stuff, because if you fill your inventory, you can't fucking move. So you should always have a box within range where you could dump everything so you can't actually move. 19 stone, is this all you guys have done? So I've been doing this live with chat, but real talk, packing up this base and moving has not been that hard at all. The main limiting factor is my carry weight, which is a bit of a problem when I have stacks of like 900 wood like that that I need to move. But fast traveling back and forth between two points is extremely simple. I made a bunch of these boxes right here, and every time I return, I just quick stack into the box. Anything that doesn't fit into the box, I add it to a new box, and it's been very efficient for moving stuff. We've only been doing this for maybe 10 minutes, and we're almost done. All the cats are running around wondering, Hey, uh, we had a lot of work to do, and suddenly there's nothing. Don't worry, we will give them another job somewhere else. Uh, I am going to disassemble the POW box. That exploded into much bigger pieces than I thought. Well, now that everything's broken down, we technically have a second base that we can build again. But our first base has literally everything we've ever made already transported back over to it. That was super easy. Looks like no Tommy Pickles tonight. There's a chance we could find him more inland. Oh, Tommy Pickles! Tommy Pickles! Hurry! Hurry before the sun comes up! Nice! I'm glad I didn't go somewhere else. 26% chance! That's really good. I think we just got our second Tommy Pickles! Yes! Bro, that was like right as the sun is coming up too. <laughs> that was really close. We immediately assign our new Tommy Pickles to start gathering as well. These guys are actually really good base defenders too. This is a solid pickup. Oh, speaking of base defense, we're under attack again. Oh, God, 0.05% catch rate. Yeah, that's a little on the low side. Hey guys, I see you're a little hungry, don't you worry. I brought so many eggs. You guys are gonna eat like kings. Specifically kings that like eggs a lot. But adding that second Tommy Pickles onto our farm literally just doubled our ore production. And it was already good. So let me bring in two chickens for the new farm and we'll have one cat working. Eventually we can add even more slots to this. So we still are kind of limited by our the amount of labor we're allowed to have. We could continue to work on that by upgrading this even more, which is not a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna build the stone pit over here by my little workstations. Uh, the stone pit will allow them to constantly generate stone. So our Tommy Pickles will come over here if they're not breaking down this ore, which it seems like they're doing a pretty good job of staying busy with that. Oh God, we got a new attacker. A Robin Quill level 25. Totally just killed my deer like it was nothing. Talon, 
Talon, go beat him up! Talon, please! Oh, second deer under attack right now. I do feel like I need to build some walls around this place. I really do. Wait, that was a good hit. Also, I haven't eaten anything. I have one HP. I am in a very bad spot. Very bad spot. Talon is rooted. The, ro the Robin Quill is winning. I'm going to call Talon back. Send it back out. Yeah, take that with your debuff. That's what I think of your debuff. Pull him back before he charges in on that. This is looking pretty spicy. We might be able to try to catch soon. But at what cost? I can't believe that little chickpea's in there. Just... <laughs> no. No. Now! 3%. More damage. More damage! 4% back capture bonus. I wish I could tell all these guys to chill for a minute. Wait a minute! Nice. Nice. Oh, God. We had a few casualties, though. We had a few casualties. <laughs> Oh, shit. No, 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 no! Bro, we gotta build some walls around this place. This is so deadly. Oh! <laughs> okay, the one flaw with my plan is that I built two north. But I'll grow into it. It'll be fine. 5%? 30%? That's a basically 100%. 5% is basically 100%. That's what we just learned here. So we do have a slight problem of everyone being dead. <laughs> We're going to need to recoup some of our losses here. This, this base is inoperable for the next 10 minutes. You know, something I didn't think about at all is if we are doing defensive structures like this, we technically don't need them inside of our base walls, do they? because the the border of our base is only the the range at which our pals will interact with stuff. We don't need them interacting with this. FYI, when you build out of the base, structures will start to degrade after a while. Oh, okay, so that would be why I wouldn't want to do that. Well, that's pretty easy to fix if we wanted to move it back. I also did make a small change with my... I didn't know what kind of an impact it would have, but with my world settings... It's so one thing I like about this game, by the way. Uh, with V Rising, you had to do all of your world settings in advance, if I remember correctly. I'm not trying to throw any shade on V Rising. It was just one of my criticisms. Whereas in this game, if you find you don't like a setting that you're running with, you can be like, you know what? I'm going to change how that setting works. And one thing I adjusted already was building decay. What a... Oh! Wooden defensive wall! <laughs> Using right-click lets you repeat the build. <gasps> Hot tip! Oh, is that what build continuously means? Hold on. Yes. That's a hot tip right there. Thank you. Do you think that's enough to keep him out? You don't think they'll... Squeeze around that, do you? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> hurt me at all to do that, right? All right, the base is at least, you know, a little more secure. That gate kind of looks a little crooked. Kind of looks, we might have to patch up a little bit more of that. But it's certainly better than it was before. Everyone that died is better again. So let's get them back out. Food production's back online. Pal Sphere production's back online. Wood production's back online. And we got a mover to keep everything grooving. Hopefully the walls help protect them this time. Hopefully. <laughs> I didn't realize how bad that looked when I was building it. Like, I felt pretty good about this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's pretty secure. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that looks a little weird, but no, that's solid. That's solid as a rock. <laughs> Tommy Pickles? Is there another one out tonight? Yes, in the water again! Bro, this is such a good spot to farm Tommies. 
31 percent. Come on, give it to me. Come on, give it to me. Come on. Yes. Perfect. Oh, he's a mine foreman, too. Oh, he's going to do great out there. OK, so right now, what are we missing? We're missing gardening here. We're missing an actual fire stoker. They're not actually assigned to the base. That was just mine that I was carrying with me. We can continue to add more slots to this base by just continuing to level it up like what we were doing previously in our first session. Now, I don't know when we would unlock a third base, but effectively, we've completely dismantled our first one, brought it to a new location, fortified it way more than anything we've had in the past. By the way, the walls are already working. Look at these guys outside. They're completely ignoring us. They were running through our base like crazy before. We are still a little vulnerable from the sky. Hopefully that doesn't need to change. We found three Tommy Pickles, which are constantly going to be working on every odd job they can around the base. We have constant Palsphere production by finding these Vixies over in that area to the east of us. And we basically have unlimited food thanks to just having a couple chickens here as well. As I can continue to expand this out, this is what I would do. I would add in a fire stoker so you can have someone smelting this ore for you basically all the time. Uh, I would also try to double my production of Vixies over here. With the server settings, you can configure a base to have a maximum of 20 pals working on it. Uh, default is 15. So if you enjoy this mechanic of really getting a base up and operational like this and trying to make it run as effectively as possible, you can take that even further in your server settings. I find that really, really compelling. I'm happy with this for right now. We're going to have to do a bunch more of our base upgrades to really continue to make this system better for us. I'm literally trying to stop myself out of just building an identical base down here to get even more ore as well. So far, I don't know if I need that just yet, but it is a very, very tempting idea. I think I'm going to wrap up our little build video right here. I'm very happy with the progress so far. Next time we play, we're going to be gearing up and doing our Rocky montage, getting ready to take down bosses. And there's a lot more in the open world than just that one Electabuzz lookalike that took us down last time. We need to be prepared. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And maybe, just maybe, I'll keep playing this game. Hold on, we're recording again. I just got back to the base after like a uh, chat. How long were we adventuring? 20 minutes? 20 minutes or so? This is one of our ranches. And look how stacked this thing is. Palsphere's like crazy. Arrow's like crazy. Free gold, dude. We're good to go. I never have to craft these again. I just got 34, we are set. For those of you that made it to the end of the video, I got a little surprise for you. If you wanted to see this scavenging of Palsphere idea scaled up, this base is entirely dedicated to the idea. Aside from this one shiny chicken that makes a bunch of eggs. This is on my multiplayer server where I'm playing with some friends. And an entire base, this is 12 Pals, all dedicated to scavenging. And we literally get hundreds of these at a time. Now I want to stress that later in the game, absolutely, there will be better technology, better spheres that we can use to catch enemy pals. But I just made a hundred and, oh, it's still going, 182 with even more over there in the corner, absolutely for free, just by having my game open. If you wanted to run with this idea, you could take it even further than this. And I think that's pretty fun. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you all again very soon.